Here's Eugene Lai from Taiwan. Very happy to have this opportunity to take part in the Bass Clarinet Week. Thanks to Marco to invite me here, and also thanks to the Clary Peru team to organize this event. That's a big question. It used to be said that music is a universal language. But more precisely, every human culture has music, just as each has language. Music in different genres shows in the same way to convey emotion through prosody. For me, music is sometimes an experiment. People try to sound, uh, make sound presenting time and motion. That's also music. Music records time, records moment in the world, which remind us to cherish everything we have now. My father is an amateur classical music lover. He has big collection of records. When I was a child, I liked to listen to them, especially orchestral works. The first impression of the bass clarinet was probably in an old disc, presenting Rachmaninoff's orchestral works. I remember that in his second symphony and symphonic dances, the rich tone of that low woodwind stick out. Also, branded it with other instruments perfectly. Since then, every time in a concert, the sound of a bass clarinet always take my breath away. Not very in impressed with this. Probably uh, in an amateur community band when I was just entering high school and hadn't even started a formal music education. Until then, none of my clarinet teachers wanted me to get into the bass too early. They thought it would interfere with the establishment of my basic technique on the sopranos. I was always envious of other people in the band who can play bass clarinets. It was not until high school that I borrowed a plastic bass clarinet from school for the first time to practice for a while. At the same time, I also started the motivation to learn such an instrument. I work as a freelance musician in Taiwan. Maybe just like many of you. I play in pickup orchestras ensembles and recording sessions. Also, I teach students and compose music, compose music sometimes. It was not particularly impressive about my previous working experience, but how I started working as a bass clarinet player is something I will never forget. It's about 12 years ago. That was the time I owned my first bass clarinet and started to more focus on it. At the same time, Harry Sparnai was invited to Taiwan, taking concerts and workshops. The concerto he performed with Taipei Traditional Chinese Orchestra was quite stunning. 
The Concerto titled "Yi Jiang Feng," which is the form of music in southern China, was composed by Taiwanese composer Huang Longpan, dedicated to Harry Spanai. In addition, it was the first concerto written for bass clarinet and traditional Chinese orchestra. There was also a discussion panel talking about the role of bass clarinet in contemporary music between the maestro, composers, and clarinetists. After the panel, I was one of students playing the master class. What I remember is his encouragement and showing me the possibilities beyond the instrument. That was my unique meeting with Harry Spanai. I believe that many of you decide to learn and practice an instrument because of its charming character and role in music. So am I. I think it is the it's very important to learn a musical instrument that you must first stabilize the concept of basic skills on both playing techniques and theory. There are a lot of differences between bass clarinet and clarinet playing. For example, embouchure, air speed. And autismal fingerings. Finding a teacher who is proficient in the bass clarinet to guide you first is necessary. There is one thing I have always kept in my mind since I started learning music. I believe that it will be the same for most of my life in the future. Never stop exploring. Bass clarinet has nearly no limit. I also encourage people who love the bass clarinet, especially when you have interest in writing music, try to make new possibility for this beautiful instrument. I appreciate the time you took to listen to me. Thank you so much. Bye bye.